Now that you know what point signs and planes are, we're going to go ahead and learn how to label them. So our first one is going to be how to label a point. A point is always going to be just one letter. Okay, so whatever letter is next to that physical dot that describes the point is what we're going to use. So to label that, we would just write out the word point and then the letter that follows, which is just A. So that would be point A. For a line, you're going to use two letters, and those two letters represent points on the line. The order of the letters doesn't matter, it just has to be the two. So I could either write out the word line and then followed by the two letters, so that would be line AB, or I can use a shorthand. And now the shorthand really relies on the, the qualities of the line. So the line has two arrows on it. It goes on forever in both ways. So the way we would write the symbol is going to be a line with two arrows, and underneath it you just write the two letters. So that would write out line AB, or we could also write out the same way, but line BA. So that order is not going to matter. Finally, to label a plane, you're going to use three letters. And those three letters have to represent, represent points that are not on the same line. So if I'm looking at this, I can write out the word plane, and then I'm just going to pick the three letters that aren't on the same line. It could be any three. So I'm going to choose A, B, D. Okay, so A, B, and D are not all on the same line. I can use those. I could also write out and call that plane B, C, D. So any three letters that are not on the same line. You can also use one letter to describe a plane, but that one letter cannot be a point. So if you look at our picture of the plane, you can notice that four of the letters have points next to them and one of them doesn't. So the only one we can use is the one that doesn't. So the last way we can name this plane is by calling it plane M.